Joel Hickerson, Grindog.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a panda. First thing, a panda is a kind of a round, a big round animal. So we'll start with a head. And their head, you can start with a circle for the head. A circle for maybe the upper torso and a bigger circle for the belly. And we're going to have our panda bear sitting upright. So, and then you come in, and I always like to flesh out the face first. So you start with his muzzle, and a panda has kind of a half triangular nose. So you make the nose, and then his muzzle, which is usually split, and then you do the eyes. Now a panda bear has black circles around their eyes, and that's kind of what makes them a panda bear. So you can even start with that and then draw the eyes themselves inside those black circles. Now what I'm doing is I'm drawing with a pencil first to kind of give me the guidelines I need so I can come back later with a marker and just pick the lines that I like to use. So that's our start on our panda. Panda bears eat bamboo. So maybe one of his hands I'll have a little bamboo tendril with the leaves. And then maybe since he's sitting down, two big circles for his haunches and his another circle for the feet and the other hand over here naturally. So now I've got all the construction lines I need. I might put some lines behind him for the bamboo trees. Okay, now I'll come back and we'll just pick out a few uh, of these lines. Pandas have little ears and that kind of what makes them cute. Okay, and they have the not quite a perfect circular head. It kind of widens out at the base. Now when I come back with a marker, I don't have to follow these construction lines that I've made for myself. If I choose to go a different direction with them to make the drawing look a little more like I'd rather have it, that's okay. The pencil is just for basic guidelines. Okay, remember these eyes are black. Have black circles around them. Okay. The panda's arms are usually black too, and the legs. Get the leaves of the bamboo. Not just snack. Okay. When you've got all the line work like you like it, you can come back and erase your pencil lines. So remember as you draw your construction elements with your pencil to draw lightly. Make it easier to uh, to erase when you're done. And that's how you draw a panda. <laughs>